to part two of our six part Star for Students video tutorial series. Here in part two, we will show you how to use the Academic Pathway feature of Star. To access the Academic Pathway portion of Star, roll your mouse over the Academic Pathway tab on the navigation bar and click. This tab shows the Academic Pathway of a hypothetical student named Miss Starry Knight. This screen is split into three columns. Column one, graduation requirement totals. Column two, General Education Requirements, Program Curriculum. Column 3 relates to student major. Courses not yet classified, non-applicable courses, courses that are not or do not transfer into Kapilani Community College. Column 1 is a summary of your graduation requirements. Here you can view your GPA requirements, credit requirements, and focus requirements. The indicated blue check mark shows that Ms. Starry Knight has completed the requirement, whereas the red X confirms an incomplete for the requirement. Column 2 is your general education major requirements. Be advised that this column is different for every major. From this example, you can see that there is a status next to each requirement. Complete, tentatively complete, and incomplete. You can click on your status for each requirement and STAR will display another screen that will allow you to view the courses you've either taken or that are approved to be taken. Complete means that this requirement for your degree has been met. Tentatively complete usually means that you are currently taking the course you need to complete that requirement. Incomplete states that the requirement has not been met. If you click on the incompletes, you will be able to view a list of classes specific to your major that will satisfy that particular requirement. Let's take a look at Ms. Starry Knight's Column 2. Look at her General Ed Foundations written communication. Click on Complete next to that. A window will open showing three columns. Requirement status, courses taken, and courses approved for requirement. You'll notice in column 1 it will give more details on the requirement. In column 2 where it says courses taken, it will display that she has taken and passed English 100 in fall 2011, thus fulfilling the requirement. In column 3, it will list other courses she could have taken to fulfill the requirement. Let's exit out from this window. Let's contrast this with the requirement that is incomplete. Let's take a look at Ms. Starry Knight's General Foundation's Global and Multicultural Perspectives requirement. By clicking on Incomplete, another window will open. Again, the screen is split into the same three columns. Column 1 again shows the requirement. In Column 2, you will notice it is blank because it is incomplete. In Column 3, Courses Approved for Requirement, you will be able to select campuses within the UH system as well as instructional methods, each with various courses that meet the requirement. This is a great tool to use when looking for courses to fulfill your requirements during registration period. If you are planning on transferring to UH Manoa, please pay attention to the heading at the top, Full Requirement. To meet the General Foundation's Global and Multicultural Perspective requirements, Ms. Starry Knight will select from these courses. Let's close out this window. We are now back in the main window for Academic Pathway. The third and final column, Courses Not Yet Classified, shows all the classes that you have taken but do not apply to your degree. This concludes Part 2, Academic Pathway of our Star for Students video tutorial series. Please continue on to Part 3, Transcripts.